A deadline has come and gone for allies of former President Trump to hand over documents to the January 6th Select House Committee. The next step now could be a fight over executive privilege. Another committee report reveals how far the president, former president that is, was willing to go to try to overturn the 2020 election results. Nicole Killian is on Capitol Hill for us. Once again, Nicole, good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Tony. And in addition to these documents, the select committee wants these former Trump aides to appear for depositions next week. A spokesperson for the former president tells CBS News the committee's request is outrageously broad and lacks precedent and merit. They are some of the highest ranking Trump administration officials targeted by the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. A letter reviewed by CBS News from former President Trump's legal team instructs those who were subpoenaed not to cooperate in producing documents or testimony. It cites executive and other privileges and argues President Trump is prepared to defend these fundamental privileges in court. The current occupant uh, of the White House uh, gets to make the decision on executive privilege. So I would remind the former president uh, that he is uh, not the current president, and so he doesn't uh, have that right. Democratic Vice Chair Pete Aguilar is a member of the Select Committee and says criminal referrals are possible. Do you see that as the next step? It's definitely an option that the committee has. We will look at whatever mechanisms we have, uh, including the criminal um, uh, piece. The developments follow the release of a Senate Judiciary report Thursday that found Mr. Trump went to great lengths to pressure the Department of Justice to undo the 2020 election. We were barely a half step away from a full-blown constitutional crisis. The Democratic-led investigation revealed then-President Trump demanded DOJ reject the election results at least nine times between the election and January 6th. One White House attorney likened his efforts to a murder-suicide pact when he contemplated ousting his acting attorney general during an Oval Office meeting January 3rd. The president rejected it. The president did the right thing. Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley, who is up for re-election next year, is set to appear with the former president at a Save America rally on Saturday. Meantime, the select committee has announced three new subpoenas for organizers of the Stop the Steal rally on January 6th. The committee hopes to produce a report sometime next year. Gail? All right, Nicole, thank you very much.